sitting here procrastinating again. Good morning. So I just sent my chapter, one chapter of the book to the first editor. I am dying inside. Just out going for a walk with my dog right now. It's 6 a.m. in the morning. And I'm already so emotional. Like writing a book is literally the most emotional thing I've ever done. Like, it's so hard. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. In today's video, we are just going to have a little chit chat about the hardest thing that I have ever done. The most crazy idea I've ever had and the hardest thing that I've ever finished, you know. So if you haven't guessed it yet, in this video we are going to talk about my book project, of course. Since I was young, I've always wanted to be an author, I wanted to be a journalist, I wanted to write the local news at home, and then after a while I realized, nah, it sounds a little boring, so I went to China, I fell in love with China, I wrote a blog in China back in 2011, and now I have decided to translate the whole blog and, well, not put all of it in a book but take the best parts of the blog and then turn it into an actual book so what I did was I translated the whole blog and then I found the best parts like the craziest parts the saddest parts you know all the emotional blog posts and then I put them together and finished the story like, I wrote the whole story. I have never written a book before and I had no idea what I was going into. I just thought, I have a good idea, so I'm gonna write a book and it's gonna be fine. First, it took me at least like two years before I actually got started. And then last year in January, I was like, this is dumb, I'm not happy right now, I just, I was going through a breakup, I just needed to, you know, find something I could focus on so I wouldn't focus on like my broken heart and my bad, you know, all these like sad feelings, yeah. So what I did was I started writing the book and I wrote half of it, um, it's in two parts. I wrote half of it and I was like, whew, okay, that was hard. Well, but now it's good, so fine, whatever. Then I started doing other things, I never finished the second part. I came back to China again in September and I was like, girl, now you have to get started. So that's what I did, I finished the second part and then I had a little break and then I was like, what am I supposed to do now? I don't know. <laughs> so I started reading books about self-publishing. Actually, in the beginning, I wanted to find a publishing house, but after reading a little bit more into it, like traditional versus like self-publishing, I was like, hmm, I think self-publishing actually will fit me much better. So I started going that way instead of, and then I Send, I actually sent like some of the raw parts to friends, which was really dumb because it was awful. And my friends were so nice, they're like, oh yeah, it's cool, it's fun, huh? And I was like, thank you guys, thank you very much, by the way, if you're, if you're watching. <laughs> then I started editing, so I looked through the first part of the book again and I realized, oh my god, this is one big mess. Like, you don't just write a book, girl, especially not without a structure. Like, I did have the blog post, I wrote down what I wanted to include in the book, but there were still so many holes, so many things missing, and things I'd said twice or three or four times 
because then I would have a little break and then I would start writing again, you know, so it was just one big mess. I started editing and I was like, la la la, okay, it took such a long time. Then I needed to take a break because it was just too much. It's so overwhelming and so emotional. So I edited it one time and then I printed the whole thing out and then I started looking for an editor, but I was too scared to actually send it to anyone. But then at some point I kind of like, I got through it. I don't know, like I had enough courage at some point and then I sent it to two editors. They obviously didn't kill me. <laughs> And I found an editor and then I was like, okay, I'm just gonna read through it one more time before I send it to her. And then I realized, nah, it's still not good enough. You have to edit again, girl. So I started editing again and I was like, oh my gosh, like why did I choose to do this to myself? Like this is, whoo, <laughs> it's like a lifetime process <laughs> or a lifetime project. <laughs> yeah, so it was so hard. I had meltdowns, I had like, I had to go talk to friends, I contacted other authors online, I read books and listened to podcasts and I was just like, girl, why? Like why? But that's the problem when you're really, really passionate about something, it's just really hard to like not do it and I would be so disappointed if I had given up like doing the editing process or like even now like now I'm like okay you have edited this thing like two three four times and the editor is gonna see it you're gonna edit again she's gonna edit again you're gonna edit again and you just need to bite your teeth and do it do you say that there yeah, that's not English oh, whatever <laughs> you just had to get your shit together and go do it that is like I've, I've tried to talk myself up a few times because who <laughs> very hard it's, it's very very hard and m most people around you don't really understand what you're going through I just had moments where I was like nobody wants to read this like nobody wants to read it it's shit and then other times I was like, oh, this is good. Like people are gonna like it because they can learn from it. I can help other people who are stuck in China and like don't know what to do, you know, maybe somebody's going through the same situations as me. And if I was like having a breakdown, I told myself, you know what? If just one person will find this useful, then my job is done, you know, it's done. It's, it's successful, like then I have, then it went as I wanted it to go, if that makes sense. So yeah, it has been such a long process and we're still going, guys, we're still going. Not done at all, don't have a cover yet. But, you know, my plan is to publish on May the 1st. I put down a date to make sure that I'm keeping the promise to myself and everyone else. And there's no way back. I've told myself there is no way back. Like, you cannot stop now. That would be disappointing and sad and stupid. Like, that would be, now you have used so much time on this project, so stopping now? No. No, girl, no. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> So that is how everything looks like right now. I just finished the third edit, I think maybe. I'm gonna send it to my new editor, like professional editor. She's very expensive, by the way. I might do a Kickstarter at some point because holy moly. <laughs> yeah, I like, I hope that you guys will support my project, but we'll see right now I'm just like working extra, extra, extra part-time jobs to make it run around and then we'll see how it goes. I'm very excited, i excited. So I hope you guys are too. I hope you're excited for my book. I also need to say that I talked about putting pictures in the book, but I realized that the pictures have to be really, really big to make sure that they're not blurry in the book. And because my external hard drive was stolen back in Thailand in 2015, so I don't have the original files, which is why I sadly cannot put pictures in the book. But I might do like a Kickstarter with like a reward of like a few pictures from that time, like printed out or something. I don't know, what, what do you guys think? You know, let me know. I'm always open to new ideas and yeah, I hope that you guys are with me on this road. I We need more books about China and I told myself that Ling Ling, you should not write another book. You should not write another book because that's just dumb. 
And then guess what happened every time I edit this book my mind is seriously drifting off with idea for even like a whole series of books and I was like girl what did I just tell you like how can you be so <laughs> yeah there are so many other ways to like have a nice career and grow and you know make like have a sustainable you know business running and, and finances and everything and then of course Ling Ling doesn't want to listen she just want to write books because I don't know I just think that something is missing out there and we need to fill it you know we need to fill those holes we need to do it together so thank you guys again for the support you give me it means the world to me and yeah I just love all, all of you I love you, I love you. All of you, thank you guys. Thank That was all for this video. Thank you for watching my little blah blah blahing. And please leave a comment below and let me know that you're supporting me and that you're ready to read my book and that you're excited. That would be nice. Then I'll be happy. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, I'll see you again very, very soon. Remember to follow me on Instagram, Lena Around, Facebook, Lena Around, and check out my Patreon, Lena Around, if you feel like it. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Ling Ling's out. See ya and Zai Jian. Mwah!